<laughs> Finally, we are going to get a monitor that can match and even beat ever so slightly the motion clarity of the legendary LG C1 G1 OLED. Introducing the Alienware AW2725DF. The more you buy, the more you save, okay? It is 360 hertz, 1440p, 27 inch QD OLED monitor, okay? That's awesome, man. And I'm gonna show you on this video exactly the difference that you should expect coming from a 120 hertz OLED to a 360 hertz OLED. So how can I show you that difference if I don't have a 360 hertz OLED? Well, because my LG C1 has a legendary feature that LG for some reason decided to eliminate that improves the motion clarity from 120 to 312 like. Okay, so it's not quite 360, but it is very, very close based on my testing. So I'm going to show you the difference between off and high using this UFO test moving at 360 pixels per second. So the difference that you should expect is you come home with this monitor, you open this test, and you should see this perfectly clear when moving at 360 pixels per second. So now you need to understand that you need 360 FPS on your games, okay? So forget about Unreal Engine 5 games. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. It doesn't matter if you buy the PC used by the Pentagon or whatever. <laughs> it just doesn't matter how much money you throw at it. So AAA games, 360 FPS, right now not happening okay it will happen in the future it would should be possible especially if they decide you know nvidia decides or amd decides to quadruple the frame generation it should be possible no problem and then that would happen or if we get asynchronous reprojection outside of vr we could be playing triple a games at 360 fps which would be absolutely awesome and that should be coming soon, really. But for now, you can play your CSGO 2, your you know, League of Legends, all these competitive multiplayer games. I mean, Call of Duty, not happening, okay? Call of Duty is very, very demanding. You might be able to get in 1440p DLSS balance performance, maybe. But yeah, just understand that you need 360 fps so you need a monster of a cpu and gpu too okay basically the best of the best so i'm very excited about this let's see you know what are what are the details that we have this is coming january 2024 so it's almost here and we have two announcements basically i am more excited about the 360 hertz but there is also a 240 hertz uh monitor that is 4k okay now, what I don't like about this monitor is that it does have a curvature. So these are the differences, basically. This one is 27 inch. This is a 360 hertz QD OLED monitor. It is. It has this stand, which is different from this one. And this is the, the 32 inch 4K with a slight curvature. Um, and look at the model. So the model number of the 4K one is AW3225QF. And you can see some of the details here, basically. Now, this is Curve, and it comes with a three-year OLED burning warranty. That's it. They don't give you any more details in terms of the brightness. I would be interested to know, is that just HDR400 certification as usual? That's what we're getting with these monitors now. I don't understand why. Because they have, they're supposed to have the second generation QD OLED panel. So why only 400 nits on a 10% window? Why? 
So I hope these monitors are brighter. Okay, even if they are more expensive, just make it brighter. Okay, because yes, they might be, they are reaching sometimes 1000 nits on a 3% window, but that's almost irrelevant. Okay, so in a 10% window is only 400 nits, that's not HDR. Okay, now the good thing about this second gen QD OLED is that you do get more full screen brightness. So you might get over 200 nits full screen, which do, does give you a more um, you know, bright, you feel like it is brighter, even if the highlights are not popping as much. So you get less HDR impact, but it looks brighter to your eyes because of the full screen brightness. But we have no details about that. So I hope it is better than the previous uh, monitors that were announced. Okay. So these are the details that we have, basically. Not a lot. So let me show you exactly what is the difference so these are some pictures this is a 240 hertz 4k one i like how it looks to be honest i really really like it i prefer this to be black uh, not because of the looks just because white might be a little bit distracting um but yeah it's okay it looks very very good i prefer this one with this black stand but it's 27 inch so it is a big downgrade in size if you already have a 55 inch S95B or C or S90C, you're going to dropping down to 27 inch. On top of that, downgrading from 4K to 1440p. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a downgrade. So I hope they make a 4K one that's 32 inches or bigger. Make it 55. <laughs> okay, make it the, as big as possible. It will be better. 100%. The bigger, the better. No question about that. So, yeah, let me show you that you see here the difference, uh, the, the resolution. Link in the description of the video to this WCCF Tech article where I'm getting this from. So now let me show you what is the difference. This is exactly what you should expect. Okay, you get that 360 hertz monitor, you open this UFO test, and you change the speed to 360 pixels per second and this should look perfectly clear i'm talking about no defects whatsoever no ghosting you know crosstalk no noise interference trailing artifacts nothing it should look like absolutely flawless okay so now right now my lgc1 i have 120 hertz as you can see here so you will see, I'm going to show you, I'm going to follow with my camera. I'm going to follow the UFO test so it looks on camera like it is not moving. And focus, what I want is you to focus on the alien eyes, the pupils, okay? These black pupils, focus on that because the rest of it, it looks very good. The rest, it looks almost perfect. But the pupils, that's where the, where the final you know, details are, okay? And then I'm going to change from 120 hertz sample on hold, I'm going to change to this feature, this legendary feature that LG decided to remove on the LG C2 just to save money and make more money, basically. They are just cheaping out to make more money. Don't tell me because it is to for the pixel aperture ratio or whatever. The C2 is almost the same TV as the C1, okay? In terms of the hardware, it's almost the same thing. They remove it for a very wrong reason. So with this feature, it's just a, a monumental difference, okay? Yes, it looks dimmer. But I've shared many, many ways to get a brighter picture so you can use this feature, okay? And when you get the right settings so it is bright enough, this is just amazing. And this is how I want to play all my games because it looks so good. Now, it is difficult to get 120 FPS, and it's going to be even more difficult to get 360, okay? But let me show you the difference. Let's go to off, and then I'm going to turn it on and follow the UFO test. And you will see, man, this is a transformative <laughs> difference. In, in when, you, when you do this on the games, you don't want to go back anymore, <laughs> okay? I'll show you. This is 120, no black frame insertion. 
Look at the alien eyes. You cannot see them, they look blurry. They look double, blurry. Try my best to follow it. So this is what you should expect with a 120 hertz OLED, okay? If you get an LCD, it might look even worse because of the gray to gray. It's not gonna be as good. The responsiveness of the pixels is not gonna be as good as the OLED. So now if I turn this legendary feature on, <laughs> you will see the difference is absolutely monumental. Okay, let's take a look at this. OLED Motion Pro High. You will see this. Again, 360 pixels per second. Take a look at this. Perfect. Look at the eyes, the pupils. It's just a, it's perfect. <laughs> it's no defects whatsoever. Absolutely perfect. And also, you get that perfection no matter where you are on the screen. It doesn't matter if you are at the top of the screen, at the middle of the screen, it doesn't matter where it is. You get the same quality because it's on OLED. The responsiveness of the pixels is so good. Look at that. This is the difference that you should expect. This is basically what you're paying for with that monitor. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.